Hi there, my friends. I'm back with another beer review. And this time, from Grand Haven, Michigan, in the USA, we have Outside Brewing Company. Outside Ales, it is called. So, it is your salted caramel smoked porter, huh? like you can see on the label. And, okay, we're gonna try it. It is rather strong. It is a porter, of course. So the, the style will be a porter. It stands here. And it comes in at 12.8 percent ABV <laughs> and it has a very nice cap also so um, yeah let's try it I'm first going to open it but I will use my lighter and you know the drill uh, by now how it works I just use my lighter and put it underneath and with a huge pop oh very light pop <laughs> the cap will come off and it will be oh there it goes, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, it was straight, I meant it was straight, it was not bent. Uh, with my trick, with the lighter. So, that's a very nice trick. So we're gonna put it into a glass and see how it looks like. Looks like, smells and tastes, of course. Here is a glass, so we're gonna put it in. Put it in uh, best at an angle, but I'm not too worried about the head. It's not gonna be very huge. But I still used uh, a rather huge glass that you can see, and I see some sediment mm. floating. Maybe you can see it also, I don't know. Maybe if I wiggle it just a little bit, <laughs> you can see it floating around also. Some sediment, again, nothing to worry about, like I said multiple times before. Okay, we're gonna do this on the nose. Cheers. I can get caramel, light smokiness. Do I get some coffee? It seems like some coffee, but this will be the porter. I do get some barrel. Huh? That's the thing I'm not sure of Ow. because I think it is really bourbon barrel aged or something. Okay, here it is. Smoked malts aged in bourbon barrels with salt and natural caramel flavoring okay caramel flavoring so some syrup to it and then with smoked malts okay each in bourbon barrels so i was correct about the bourbon barrels and that's on, on, the, on the nose i could smell it i didn't read it anywhere it was bourbon barrel aged but you can it's a distinct flavor a distinct smell the bourbon barrels so I'm quite used to it because it is my favorite barrel. Uh, we're gonna dive in. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Rather thick, kind of boozy. It is spicy. It is not really overly smoked. It is light smoked, but it is boozy. It is boozy, it is warming. You can, can, you can feel the alcohol burn. Um, the salt, it is there at the back. You can get it much more, but it's still subtle. The saltiness to it. The caramel, indeed. The bourbon barrels are really detectable. You can, it kind of overpowers, in my opinion, oh, no. the beer. And it's, they, the, the style, they call it porter, but I think this is more like a barley wine. What? With, some very nice barrels like i think it is unbalanced i think some people said it was really balanced i don't really agree uh, the bourbon barrels do take it over a little bit too much and then all the other ingredients although you can get many ingredients it is complex so it is also thick on the mouthfeel is it's rather creamy on the mouthfeel but it is just on the alcohol the max alcohol with the booziness for me, that's more than enough. Uh, the 12.8% you can get in this case. So I do kind of like it, but it is not a porter in my opinion. Uh oh. If you can find it, uh, it is rather expensive because I am from Belgium, of course. If you're from the USA, I don't think it will be that expensive, but still you get to pay for it. It is still 12.8% ABV bourbon barrel aged. So that's a beer you're gonna pay for. Uh, but I'm rambling on again. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, oh yeah, the rating. I will give it, let's say, I go with 
8 out of 10. For me, it is an 8 out of 10. The outside one. And uh, thanks for watching again. And don't forget, guys, the beer day keeps up the rain. Cheers.